Hi everybody, hope you're all doing well. So in September last year, I uploaded the lesson 40 phrases for presenting in English. And this has become one of the most popular lessons on my channel. And a lot of you have contacted me and asked for more content on presentations. So in this lesson, I'm going to share some more advanced phrases for presenting in English. Welcome back to English for Professionals. I'm Derek and I'm here with another short lesson for you busy people. Before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe to my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new lesson. And join my email list. Every two weeks I send out my free vocabulary email with additional business English, words from the news and everyday English for you to learn. The link is in the description below. And now, let's get started. So in my other lesson, 40 phrases for presenting in English, I shared some different phrases for different parts of a presentation. From welcoming your audience at the beginning, right through to thanking your audience and inviting them to ask questions at the end. In this lesson, I'm going to do something similar, but with more advanced phrases. In some cases, the phrases are not necessarily advanced, but they are great alternatives and give you more options. Let's start with welcoming your audience. It's lovely to see so many familiar faces here today. Or, I'm very grateful to you all for taking the time to be here today. Introducing yourself. For those of you who don't know me, I'm... Or, let me start by telling you a little bit about my own background. I'm... And now let's take a look at some different ways to talk about the goal or objective of your presentation and why it's relevant for your audience. Stating the goal of your presentation. What I intend, or plan, or hope to do is, or, the reason I'm here today is to talk about, or a more informal version, I'm here to say a few words about. Explaining why the topic is relevant. This talk should be of particular interest to those of you who, or, by the end of this afternoon's talk, you'll know how to, or you'll be familiar with. Or, what I hope you'll get from my talk, or my presentation, is a clearer view, or a better idea of. Great, now let's move on to some different signposting phrases. These are the phrases we use to guide the audience through the presentation. Introducing the first topic. I'd like to begin by drawing your attention to. Or, let's begin by looking at. Finishing a topic. That's all I want to say about this topic for the time being. For the time being means at the moment. You may come back to the topic later. And another example. So that's the background on. And continuing with another topic. The next point I'd like to talk about is... Or... This leads me directly to my next point, which is... We often need to highlight information during a presentation. So, to emphasize something or mention how important it is. Let's take a look at some phrases you can use to do this. Highlighting information. As far as I'm concerned, the main issue here is... Or... The significance of this is... Or... I cannot emphasize this strongly enough. And sometimes it's necessary to paraphrase. So, if you feel the audience hasn't understood the point you're trying to make, try using simpler language. Here are some phrases you can use. 
paraphrasing. In other words, or put simply, or to put it another way. Now let's take a look at some phrases we can use to talk about common knowledge. So referring to things that your audience knows. And we'll also look at some phrases here you can use to refer to things that you've already mentioned earlier in your presentation. Common knowledge, as you're all aware, or as I'm sure you all know. Referring to points you mentioned earlier. If you remember, I touched upon this point earlier. Or, as I mentioned or pointed out earlier, and sometimes we digress, which means to talk about something that is different from the main topic. Digressing. While we're on the subject of, I'd like to briefly mention. Or, if I can just digress for a moment. When we're finished digressing, we need to get back to the topic. Coming back to the main point, or getting back to my main point, Excellent! And finally, we'll take a look at some different ways to end the presentation. Summarizing. Finally, let me remind you of the main points we covered, or we looked at, or we considered today. Or, let me briefly summarize the main points. Concluding. In some presentations, it can be very effective to finish with a famous quote. Here's one way to do this. I'd like to finish with something, then include the name of the well-known person, once said, and then include the quote. And another way to conclude, let me just finish with a question, and then include a thought-provoking question. Thanking the audience and inviting them to ask questions. Thank you very much for being such an attentive audience, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them now. And here's a very informal way to invite your audience to ask questions. Any questions? Only use this if you know your audience well and have an informal relationship with them. So that brings us to the end of another presentations lesson. I hope you found it helpful. All of the phrases are included in the description below and you'll also find a link to a playlist with all of my presentations lessons. So make sure you check that out. If you like the lesson, hit the like button and share with your friends and colleagues. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already and join my email list. Every two weeks I send out my free vocabulary email with additional business English, words from the news and everyday English for you to learn. The link is in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon.